Okay, today I'm here to talk to you guys about this Corsair uh, power supply system for a PC. This is the RM850E series, and uh, they have another series also, which I think is the only difference I could find was it was a longer warranty. I don't really know. But this is the one they had here in stock. Uh, it's uh, ready for the uh, uh, NVIDIA uh, 50 series um, graphics card, because uh, and that's good because I just bought one. And this is the, the one I bought here. This one here is the, um, the 5080. GeForce. Now I need to put this into my um, my uh, PC, which I have here. I do a lot of video editing, and I've got a lot of lagging, and it's just it's horrible. So I needed uh, a new graphics card, but to do that, I need a new power supply because it's not enough power to to do it. So I got this one here. I just wanted to show you real quick. Uh, it has some safety and compliance information. It has really no instructions. It does say what these cables are on the side of the box here, but you can see there's a ton of cables, uh, and they are kind of uh, labeled vaguely. Uh, looks like some of them are. Uh, and you get a power supply. Uh, looks like there's some some new screws and I'm not even sure what this is so let's open this up and see what this piece is here oh oh cable ties okay all right so cable ties for cable management that's always good to have as well and then you've got the power supply unit it does say motherboard it does say 12 volt 2 by 6 it does give you the SATA the CPU PCI interfaces so it tells you kind of which one is which over here um, and then it has a little tag on it it has your power supply uh, power turn on and off and so forth I don't so again that is the model there now what I'm doing is I'm replacing the Corsair RM650 so I do like the Corsairs these work good this has been really really good but I don't think it's going to be enough power to run that other um, system and, and I have a, a graphics card in here I'm gonna have to replace that as well so anyways my, my idea is I'm actually going to take off the cords from this one very slowly and carefully and make note of where they go and plug them right into here because I have everything already wired up all the hard drives wired up everything's already wired up in here and I don't want to change it all out with these new cables yet um, I might have to rebuild uh, my whole computer because the with the graphics card I have a little bit older CPU I might need a new CPU which means a new motherboard which means new RAM which means I kind of might as well just get a new computer or totally rebuild this one which I might have to do but I'm going to try this and see if it works for my video editing. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I got the power supply in. I did need to use the cable that goes to the motherboard uh, with this because it was a little different than the other one. So I was able to get that in and it looks like I plugged everything in that was plugged into my other one just fine. Um, so that is cool. Now I haven't tested this out yet, but I do want to put in my new um, graphics card. So that's next and then I will power it all up and see if it works and cross my fingers. Now I have the power supply in here. It fit perfectly well uh, replacing the other one now I did have to use some of the power supply cables to connect to some of these things like my uh, new um, GeForce um, RTX 5080 I just got that in it uses different plugs than the other one but I was able to figure that out and um, get this all plugged in and the power supply seems to be working really really well so if you're looking for a 850 watt power supply this might be the right one for you